This Microsoft Access lesson deals with finding things and sorting things, uh, records primarily. There's a great find tool and it is in both views. It's in this table view. It's also in form view. And you can find any record that you're looking for um, by name, by ID number. The first thing you need to understand is put your insertion point in the field by which you're searching. So if somebody calls and says that their ID number is such and such, um, you can click in ID, go to find, and then type the fact that you're looking for record, let's say 11, and then go to find. So it's quickly and easily found record 11. You can check to make sure you got the person's proper name and you're off to the races. If they don't know their ID number, but they know their last name, you would click in last name and then you can click in here and you can start typing their last name. So now I'm clicking in the last name going to find I have Flintstone now I didn't spell Flintstone right which is why this isn't working so what I could do is if I'm not sure how to spell something I can go Flynn go asterisk because I don't know how the rest of the name goes and I can say find next so that little asterisk there we call that a wild card and we use it all the time so if you didn't know how something ended don't worry about the end, just start it this way. Or if somebody called and you you heard the end is Nez, but you don't know what the beginning was, you can put the asterisk at the beginning and then go with the Nez and then go find next. And now it's finding this Martinez and you can see whether or not that's the person. And if it's not, you can go find next again. And now you see that there's another Martinez. So you can type the entire field as it is, or if you're not sure how something begins or ends, that wildcard is a great tool. And I just showed you a good example of how and when you would use that. The next thing I talked about a little bit in the first lesson is the ability to sort by any field. So if you want to sort by name, by number, by first name, you can sort by any field in this view or in the table view. It's very easy to do. You simply click in whatever field you want to sort by. So right now, I believe we're sorted by ID number. If you wanted to sort by last name instead, you could easily sort by last name. I'm in last name here, so I would say just sort by last name. And now I'm in the first record, and the first last name is Abramson. Fast, easy, doesn't mess up your table in any way. There are also multiple sorts that you can set up. Now, this is a little more complicated, so I'm going to go into table employees view to do this. And I want you to know that there are several ways to sort by more than one thing. So now I already know that there are two Martinez. So let's sort by last name. And I'll just say sort. So now they're in alphabetical by last name. And now if I want to sort by the first name, it would remove that sort. And now I'd be sorting only by first name. So if you want multiple sorts, in other words, you want a tiebreaker, you would go to this advanced button here and ask for advanced filter. And in this window, what I would probably do to begin with is I would probably be tempted just to delete whatever the last filter or the last sort that I ran happened to be. So you can delete all these things. It doesn't mess anything up. And now I can double click on last name and then sort alphabetically. And now if there's a tie, if there are several Martinez, we know there are, I can then break that tie with first name and sort that in ascending order. And when you're done, you hit this little toggle filter. Toggle means go back and forth. So go back to the actual table and show me what this is going to look like. So they're sorted by last name, but whenever there's a tie, it'll be broken by whoever the first name happens to be. So here, Jesus comes before Marie, 
um, Maria because J comes before M. So that's a multiple sort, very easy to do. You go to advance here and you set it up in whatever order that you would like. The next thing that I wanted you to learn about is filters, but we're going to tackle filters in the next lesson. I simply want to revisit this menu and just repeat the fact that when you get here, whatever is here doesn't mean that it's correct. So you'll want to start this from scratch and delete whatever's there and enter whatever ones you want and then you'll be able to apply those to your table. So that's how you can find records. It's also how you can sort records by one thing or when there's a tie or you know there's going to be a tie, you can add one or several. In, in a real big city, there's a real good chance that you're going to have more than one Jesus Martinez. So your next tiebreaker would probably be, be address and then maybe city and then phone number and so on.